I got a surprise. I got a call from the movie studios. We haven't done a lot of movie stuff lately because of the, all the strikes going on, the mm -hmm. actors, the writers, and all that. And I got a call that said, do you want to talk to Meg Ryan? And you uh, said, uh, uh, no. Yeah, of course well, I want to talk not, to Meg Ryan. Right? All the great movies she's made. And David Duchovny, how about that? I love X -Files it, Mr. X-Files. Here, and, and he, he's done a lot of great work also. So they just did a movie, What Happens Later. And the reason I got a chance to talk to him is because Meg Ryan helped write it and direct it. And ah, he so has a producer we credit. To yeah. get around. So they walked, walked around a little bit. So it's a, a very cool movie. It's about two people who used to be together. You'll sort of see this again, but I want to set it up for you. It's about two people who used to be together years and years and years ago. And they run into each other at one of those small airports. And when they run into it in the small airport, there's a giant storm. So what happens? They get stuck at the airport. They get stuck at the airport. But almost everyone they else leaves. It. So the whole movie is just them together. <laughs> Sort of like. So this is a rom-com kind of movie. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's sort of like rebuilding these. the past, and and you know you want them to get together, and then there's the sarcasm, and so I want you to check it out. So okay. what happens later? Here, here it is. How have you been? Oh, for the last 20 years. 25 maybe. I've been 49 forever and ever and wow, ever. Wow, lucky you. I feel like I've been in my 50s since my 20s. <laughs> That's so true. Now, you don't have to agree with me. <laughs> Stranded with no way out, former lovers find themselves forced to rediscover a life long ago. Directed by Meg Ryan and co-starring David Duchovny, what happens later pushes a lot of buttons. A free-spirited Meg and a perfectly sarcastic Duchovny upgrade romantic comedy. The way that Meg directed it, we got to really discover uh, an actor's timing in these long takes, long scenes, a lot of dialogue, and yet not a, lot, not a hell of a lot of cuts. So our human rhythms are really playing out and not created in the cut, and that's... That's rare. That's really the special effect to the real one of the, the movie. Like, effects. how did we do, like, it, it, it is a sort of like, that's the thing where people ask, how did you guys do that? <laughs> well, I always wondered why you left. No, you didn't. Yeah. We talked about it all before I left Madison. We sat in the back booth at Morty's over our fries and beers, and we very mature, very civilized about it, did a whole post-mortem. Come on, you know that's true. No. When people break up, there's the thing that they tell each other, there's the thing they tell their friends, and then, and then there's the truth. But you never told me. And I never told you. How about the dance with you guys? That was really sweet. How was that, that day, putting that dance together? Well, we didn't really think about it. I mean, there was, yeah. there was a moment in which, while we were shooting, or maybe just before, where Meg had said, you know, I've got a choreographer mm -hmm. here, we're going to... She's talk, thinking about a waltz or this or that. And I was like, yeah, I don't know. We, we didn't, we didn't have time. time to do it. There was no way to like. So all of a sudden it was on us. It yeah. was the last night of shooting. And it was like, oh, we've got to do this we dance. Just, we like, didn't know what the hell we were going to do. So much of the movie was in a way like that. You just had to do it. You just had yeah. to go for it and do it. Attention, Attention travelers. The National Weather, Weather Service has identified, identified the storm as a bomb cyclone. Bomb, bomb cyclone? Yes. yes. We never used to have bomb cyclones. No, they seem new. We had bombs and we had cyclones, but not together. I know. Also, rain trains. Flash droughts. Fire tornadoes. Fire tornadoes. Hail hurricanes. Haley Kings. And then you're making that last oh, one Oh, so up. what? Well, a lot of it was just go, man. Yeah. Just wrap your arms around it. We did. We yes. did. Yeah, it. Exactly. We loved it. That's exactly right. Hey, thank you so much. What happens later is great to see you, David. And what? Thank great you. Great job directing out there. Thank you very much, Meg. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to see you. If we could see our memories in advance, would we do anything different? Please don't ruin this. You're a simple just for you. Meg Ryan is adorable. And David Duchovny, I tell you, he's the master of sarcasm. And I really enjoyed this film. I think you'll like it a lot also. It opens at the Cedar Lee Theater. That's in Cleveland Heights tomorrow. So you might want to check it out there. A nice night out. And uh, if you folks haven't seen a good romantic comedy in a while, this will get you hooked all over again.